Hi guys. Now, question number three should sum up over here your concept and understanding on forces in equilibrium, especially with uh, your two different types of uh, tension over here that you are given, uh, guys. Uh, you have T1 and you have T2. Now, T1 is attached over here to this wall on top and T2 is over here attached to this wall over here on the right hand side. Now, the weight and the wall makes an angle over here of 90 degrees. Okay, now what we are going to do is, remember guys, for questions like this, the first thing what I told you, I told you over here, you draw over here your plus sign. Okay, see this kind of question, draw your plus sign over here. Now, my question will obviously be, calculate over here your tension 1 and your tension 2. All right, that's what we are going to find, huh? calculating tension 1 and tension 2. Okay, now, first, your plus sign guys, huh? Okay, now you're done with this. Next, transfer your forces. Now, over here, you have your T1, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer T1, okay? Now, this one is my T1, and this one over here, this is my T2, okay? Now, your 3 kilogram, this is 3 kilogram, guys, huh? now the 3 kilogram is going downwards, that means that if I change it to weight, it will be 30 newtons. Okay? Now, next, the angle. If you see this, guys, uh, this is 25 degrees. So, using your Z over here, lah, this one is in mathematics. So, you will get this to also be 25 degrees. So, that means over here, if I transfer this one 25, it will be inside here. So, this is 25 degrees. Okay, now, next, what you're going to do is, you are going to bring your T1 to both x-axis and to also your y-axis. Okay, your T1 again, huh? you're going to bring it to x-axis and y-axis because your tension has a force in both direction, x and also y. Now, observe carefully and see how I solve the question. Okay, now, first, over here. I'm going to bring my T1 over here to my y-axis, okay? Now, remember how I taught you? If you want to bring it, okay, Fy, yeah? Fy equals to F sine theta. That's what I told you, okay? Make sure Fy, you use sine theta. And make sure the angle is between the force and the Fx. That one you don't forget, okay? Now, over here, to bring it to Fy, it will be T1, okay, T1, sine 25 degrees. Okay, guys, uh, T1, sine 25 degrees. Now, remember what I told you? Up equals down. So, that means T1, sine 25, up equals to down. So, over here, down is how many? 30 newtons. So, this equals to... 30 newtons, okay? Some students, they do ask me, sir, why not T2, I bring it over here to Fy? I can't do that, guys, because T2 is already in the x-axis. So, I can't do anything. It is already a value at the x-axis. So, the only thing that can move over here to Fx and Fy is T1 because it has an angle, okay? This one, no angle. It's 90 degrees. It's fixed to the Fx, okay? Now, over here, so again, T1, you bring it to Fy, it'll be T1 sine 25 equals to 30. Now, very easily, T1 equals to 30 sine 25 degrees. Okay, so using your calculator, 30 divide over here, sine 25. You will get 70.9. Nine eight guys, I'll just put it nine nine, eh? nine nine over here, newtons. Okay. Now next, I want to calculate the value of T two. Now for T two, remember, left equals to right. Now the previous example, eh? example two, I taught you up equals to down, such as this, lah, guys. But now over here, you have your left equals to right. 
Okay. So this one over here, you're going to use fx. And remember, I taught you fx equals to f cos theta. Okay. So now, your f in this case, t1 going down, eh? cos 25. Okay. Equals to t2 because left equals to right. Now, your T1 value, what was it? 70.99. So, I just replace here. Huh? 70.99 cos 25 degrees equals to T2. Okay. That means T2 now to solve it. What's this? Cos 25 times 70.99. The answer is 64.34 Newtons. Voila. Done. It's as easy as that to find T1 and T2. Okay. Now, guys, in my next video, I am going to teach you on how to understand forces on an inclined plane. You know, the force over here where you'll have a sata chondong and the thing is falling down. I'll teach you how to calculate over here forces on an inclined plate. So please do watch my next video. Thank you.